Welcome to today's dentistry with Dr. Blanche Gruby. The goal of our program is to educate you, the patient, in all aspects of the Huggins Gruby Holistic Dental Protocol. On this installment, we're discussing homeopathy. And now, here's Dr. Blanche. Hi. Today I'm going to have a little bit of an advanced course, and I'm going to call it Homeopathy 2. For those of you who have said that they loved my homeopathy lecture, I'm going to get a little bit into the, um, let's say, meat and potatoes about homeopathy. Fortunately, I just happen to have here Lectures on Materia Medica. This is an incredible book that was written in the late 1800s by Dr. James Tyler Kent. Materia Medica has in it all of the homeopathic remedies. Do you remember in the last class I talked about homeopathic remedies and how they came from poisons or um, they actually came from dead material, dead tissue, um, sometimes pus from a, from a person with a disease, things like that. And so they would make the homeopathic remedy and then you would take this book and look up all of the symptoms. And as you can see, it's, it's a pretty thick book. And let's see in the front here. We've got, yeah, over a thousand pages. So I want to give you an example today of how you would, somebody who was uh, trying to study homeopathy and wanted to see if a particular remedy would help them or not. Um, I want to show you how you would read up on the remedy and, um, and see if it relates to the symptoms that you're suffering with. So let's go to my favorite subject, Mercurius. That's the name of the homeopathic remedy, and it's on page 731. So when we go to Mercurius, I'm just going to read a little bit about this, okay? Mer Mercury is used in testing the temperature. Well, everybody knows that. Most of the old thermometers were used with mercury, okay? And the constitution is because it is changeable. Well, that's very true about mercury. It, um, it's a silvery little liquid. If you put heat to it, it expands very rapidly. Um, if you put cold to it, just the opposite happens. It shrinks. And so it's very sensitive to both heat and cold. So that's actually one of the symptoms of mercury toxicity, sensitivity to heat and cold. Listen to this. The patient is worse from the extremes of temperature, both from heat and cold. Well, boy, that is me. If I'm taking a shower and somebody happens to flush the toilet at the same time, watch me turn into Till of the Hun. I become a roaring lion. I can't handle any change in temperature of the water. Okay? So that's one of the symptoms that if a person like myself was to take Mercurius, it would actually make my symptoms better. Okay? But there are many symptoms to Mercurius. Okay? The complaints of merc Mercury when sufficiently acute to send the person to bed are worse from the warmth of the head so that he is forced to uncover. But after he uncovers and cools off, he gets worse again so that he has difficulty in keeping comfortable. Now, does this sound to you very much like what a lot of women go through when they're complaining of their, you know, premenopausal, menopausal period, they get hot at night, they rip the blankets off, they rip the sheets off, then two minutes later they're ice cold and they cover themselves again. Well, if they were to take the homeopathic mercurius, it would help with those symptoms. Again, like I said last time, like cures like. So let's go on. Let's see if we can find some more interesting symptoms that are caused by mercury toxicity and could be relieved by the homeopathic mercurius. 
The glands are inflamed and swollen. The parotid, the, the, oh, those are the glands that are right here in your cheek. The sublinguals, the glands under here. The lymphatic glands of the neck. Well, one of the first things we do in all of our centers for healing dental centers, when we do an examination, is we palpate the mouth, we palpate the salivary glands all in through here, and then we palpate the neck and palpate the glands. And we find that many of our patients have enlarged glands, they have fibrotic glands, they have bumpy glands, uh, they just don't feel right, okay? And that is because so many of them come into our office already mercury toxic from mercury fillings. So this is another symptom that Hahnemann discovered would get better if you gave the person the homeopathic of mercury. Now remember from last time, to give the homeopathic of mercury, you're not actually giving somebody mercury. You're giving them the energy field, the imprint, the footprint, the electron cloud of mercury. But the mercury has been diluted so many times that there actually isn't any mercury in there. In fact, if you were to give somebody mercury to take, you would kill them. You need to do it the way the American Dental Association does it. Give them just a little bit every day. Ah, that was a very bad joke, I know. Okay, let's look at another one. Another marked feature is the formation of pus. So, um, with, with inflammation, there's burning, stinging, and a rapid formation of pus. Now, how many times have you seen teenagers that have acne all over their face? They didn't have it as a child. Somewhere along the line, they wound up getting a lot of mercury amalgam fillings put in their mouth, and now they're 15, 16 years old, and they have so many pimples, pus balls on their face. Those are all symptoms of mercury. And if you were to give somebody like that the mercurious homeopathic, it just might help. Again, it has to resonate with their body frequency. If it does, it produces a miracle. Okay, we've got here rheumatic inflammation of joints. Well, in this day and age, we would actually call that arthritis, correct? Trembling, ulcers, um, weakness. All of these are all symptoms of mercury. And it goes on and on. Ear troubles, nose troubles, liver troubles. All of this stuff is, is, we're not surprised because these are the symptoms that many of our patients have because they've been carrying their mercury amalgam fillings in their mouth for many years. Okay, so the, the homeopathic physician actually spends time reading books like this. Um, this is what we do for fun. They read books like this, get a feeling for the different remedies so that when a patient comes and gives us their symptoms, we can say, aha, I think I know what might take care of something like that. And again, the homeopathic physician, if they're right, it's a miracle. If they're wrong, nothing happens. You waste a little bit of time. Well, that was our very short homeopathic lesson. I will see you next time and we'll talk some more about homeopathy. Thank you for watching another installment of Today's Dentistry with Dr. Blanche Gruby. The goal of our program is to educate you, the patient, in all aspects of the Huggins Gruby Holistic Dental Protocol and how it offers dentistry that is safe for the whole body. Educate yourself. Watch the other informative and new patient videos right here on our website. Then call for an appointment at Centers for Healing.